Okay, lesson 5-3, we're going to finish up this lesson with uh, solving polynomial equations by factoring. And we will save the graphing part for in class. Okay, so we're looking for solutions to these two polynomials. So first thing we'll do on example A is we'll put it in standard form by subtracting the 4 over to the left side. So using our techniques from the previous two videos, we know that this is in quadratic form, even though it's a fourth degree function. So we can factor this as if it were a quadratic. So we take our x to the fourth, and we separate it into two parts. x squared times x squared is x to the fourth. Negative 4 is 4 times 1, where one of these have to be negative. So to get a negative 3, we're going to want negative 4 and positive 1. So there we have our polynomial factored. And then we can use the zero product property to solve this by setting each factor equal to 0. Add 4 to each side, makes the 4 positive. Take the square root on each side, and we get x equals 2 solutions plus or minus 2. And on the other factor, we subtract 1 on each side, making it negative. Then we take the square root on each side, and the square root of negative 1 is i, but you get two solutions, plus or minus. So this fourth degree function has four solutions, the positive and the negative 2, that's two solutions, and the positive and negative i, that's two more solutions. In our next example, we have a cube. So first thing we'll do is move the 1 to the left side so that the equation equals 0. And now we're factoring the difference of cubes. So the cube root of x cubed is x. The cube root of 1 is 1. And then x squared is x squared. x times negative 1, or x times 1 gives us, switch the sign, x. 1 times 1 is 1. Okay, there it is in factored form. So we can set each factor equal to 0 and solve. The first one is easy. You just add 1 on each side and we get 1. The second one, though, we have to solve this by using the quadratic formula. So negative 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 squared is 1 minus 4 times a is 1 and c is 1, so 4 times 1 times 1 over 2 times a, and a is 1. 4 times 1 times 1 is 4. So 1 minus 4 is negative 3. So our solutions here on this trinomial are um, x equals negative 1 plus or minus i root 3 all over 2. So that's two solutions there plus the one, x equals 1, that's three solutions for our cube. Okay, in this next example, we have x to the fourth equals 16. So if we put it in standard form, what we have is a difference of squares. So we can factor this as x squared plus 4, x squared minus 4, and then use the zero product property to solve. Subtracting 4 on each side gives us negative 4. Taking the square root on each side gives us plus or minus 2i. Adding 4 on each side gives us 4. Taking the square root gives us x equals plus or minus 2. For our second example, we want to put this in standard form. So adding the 2x squared makes it positive. Subtracting the 8x makes it negative, and we make it equal 0. Then we're going to factor out a GCF. Leaves us x squared plus 2x minus 8. Once we have the GCF factored out, then we will factor our trinomial again. And this will factor as x plus 4 and x minus 2. Using the zero product property, we get x equal to 0 or x is negative 4, or x is 2. 
So we get three solutions for our cubic polynomial. For our final example, we're going to have to distribute the x on the left side, giving us x cubed plus 8x, and distribute the 8 on the right side, giving us 8x plus 8. Then we're going to put it in standard form by putting all the pieces on the left side. So when we subtract 8x, that cancels, and subtracting 8 gives us negative 8. So now we're trying to solve by factoring a difference of cubes. So the cube root of x cubed is x, the cube root of 8 is 2. x squared, switch the sign, 2 times x, and 2 squared. Okay, getting our solutions, we have x equals 2 here, and our other two solutions will be imaginary. Using the quadratic formula, we're going to get negative b, plus or minus the square root of b squared, minus 4 times 1 times 4, all over 2 times 1. 4 times 4 is 16. 4 minus 16 is negative 12. Negative 12 is the square root of negative 4 times 3, which will give us 2i root 3. So our solutions here will be x equals 2 for our real solution, and our imaginary solutions will be uh, negative 2 plus or minus 2i root 3 over 2. This 2 in the denominator will divide both of the 2's in the numerator, so that gives us negative 1 plus or minus i root 3. And that's the end of this video.